So now in this video we're going to introduce the capacitor component. We're going to use it as a smoothing capacitor, one of the common ways that it's used. It's not quite doing anything other than it's helping to hold the voltage at that point. If we briefly lose the uh, pushing down the switch, uh, just briefly, the LED won't go completely out as it would if there was no capacitor there. So it stores up charge. That charge comes from the power supply. It can be used later. And for smoothing purposes, it's to help hold the voltage because a lot of sensitive circuits, a voltage change makes a big difference. So the polarized capacitors are the larger value capacitors. You have to insert them in the correct direction. The uh, negative side of it has to be more negative. They're usually uh, marked pretty uh, uh, definitively we'll look at that uh, coming up the non-polarized ones usually uh, both sides of them look exactly the same but uh, they're usually very low value so there's a good chance especially for smoothing capacitors you will not be using a non-polarized one you'll have to use a polarized one now you'll notice I have a thousand microfarad here capacitors don't usually show their values in millifarad so microfarad is one one thousandth of a millifarad but uh, instead of one millifarad we just have a thousand microfarad there you might even see ten thousand microfarad uh, capacitors that's just the way that it is nano is smaller than microfarad by a thousand and then pico is smaller than a microfarad by a million so that's into the one billionth of a farad so farad is a pretty large value once you get to the farad range, you're dealing with supercapacitors, and they generally can provide very high current. They also need very high current to uh, charge, so you have to be extremely careful, know what you're doing. And so here's the circuit on the uh, breadboard right there. You can see that uh, the LED, which is forward bias, it's in the direction to conduct. It goes out as soon as I release the button. If I take the uh, capacitor here, this is a 1000 microfarad capacitor and you can charge it up to about 35 volts and so we want to make sure that the negative side of it you can see it's marked right there goes to the negative positive we're going to go to that side of uh, the bottom of the switch there so that's always connected directly across now you can see when I press the button that the LED stays lit so it will fade you know relatively quickly but very brief periods of time it stays lit now you'll also notice the power supply. I have to uh, five volts right there. I set the uh, current to 90 milliamps of current, which I thought was enough, but we just saw that it said CC really briefly. And the reason why is because, as I said before, capacitors are good for a short burst of current. So let's do that. It looks like 150 is milliamps is probably a pretty good, so 0.15 amps. Let's go down. We only need like a couple milliamps to light the LED. So let's go to a pretty extreme of uh, 10 milliamps total. So remember, we also have to charge the capacitor. And there you can see it was CC probably for a little while longer. So that may be a problem. It may not. The reason why you may use a capacitor is because the power supply can't provide the current needed uh, briefly. And that might be why you have the capacitor in the first place. You just charge up the capacitor and it's ready to take over for brief periods as need be. But otherwise, if uh, the capacitor charging and discharging depends on the power supply being able to provide the current, you're going to have to make sure the power supply can provide that current. But in any case, that's really the uh, basics for the capacitors. One of the common uses is as a smoothing capacitor to pick up the uh, voltage and thus current demands for brief periods of time, uh, generally. Not for a very long periods of time, unless you have super capacitors, which is another topic. But in any case, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out one of the other ones that I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that, donate to Patreon if you can. I got links down in the description. That would help out a ton. I'll see you in the next video.